YouTube, what's going on? This is your boy DJ Troy in the building. I hope everybody is good. I hope everybody is doing fine. I hope everybody's chilling. You know what I'm saying? So, I'm gonna get into the trending topics and you know just give my cup my little opinion about some stuff and then keep it moving because I know my viewers got things to do, places to go, people to see. All right. So. The first trending topic, of course, is Rihanna's latest video called Work, okay? Um, it's a video featuring Drake, and, you know, she's doing her thing, singing her patois, Bayesian, Jamaican, whatever is it that she's doing, you know, she's there singing, you know, doing her thing, you know what I mean? So, Drake is on it, and it's a pretty good video, you know what I mean? And this, of course, is my conservative, you know, view about this video, okay? I don't want to let go the inner thirst, you know what I'm saying? So, it's a great video. I like it. It was done exceptionally good. Rihanna had some great moves. The dancers had some great moves. Drake did his thing. I like both versions of the video. And, you know, single Troy, single DJ Troy was going to have a very different review of this video. But I'm going to keep it like that, all right? Moving on. Now, Kim Kardashian has finally released a video of her baby, and she also claims that she lost 40 pounds. So shout outs to Kim Kardashian and shout outs to that little cute angel that she just made. He's, he's, a, he's a beautiful baby. And anybody knows anything about DJ Troy, they know that DJ Troy loved babies. So shout out to that whole family. Um, excuse me. Unrelated to that, um, yesterday was NASCAR. Okay, Daytona 500. And for those people who don't follow race or don't like races or car races, whatever your situation is, it was a photo finish almost. It, it's, it's like they had to stop the cameras to see how this guy won. And he won probably by a millisecond. Or, it was just ridiculously close, okay? So shout outs to all of those people you know, that was watching the, you know, the race yesterday and enjoy such a close photo finish. Um, in sports news now, Kobe Bryant played one of his last games in Chicago last night. And it was, it was kind of a weird game, you know, because on what, it's like Kobe Bryant is doing his farewell tour, saying hello to everyone, saying bye to everyone. So... I didn't feel like the players were going in hard enough. I think it was probably more like an exhibition kind of tour kind of thing. You know what I'm saying? It doesn't feel like if, you know, they're playing the Lakers to win. It just feels a little strange, okay? But whatever it is, you know, as a fan of Kobe, I'm happy for him, happy to see him continue doing his thing. So, shout out to Kobe Bryant. Another game um, that was played in the NBA was, of course, this game by the, I think, the New Orleans Pelicans, something like that. Um, this guy, I, I'm going to put his name at the bottom of the video. Homeboy scored 59 points in the game. 59 points. Okay, now you tell me when was the last time you watched a basketball game where the player played 50, made 59 punts? Okay, that's just to show you that the competition is crazy in the NBA. Okay, so shout out to that player, much respect. All right, now moving on to you know a little bit of you know sad news. It seems like every week we are reporting on celebrities passing or what have you, but for anybody who has read To Kill a Mockingbird knows this lady. The author of To Kill a Mockingbird passed away on Friday, and, you know, 
she had a long life. Um, I don't know much of, about her personally, um, but it seems like if she had a great life. And that one book that she wrote basically has spawned, you know, time. You know, it's just like, listen, man, it's just going to be around forever and ever. And the synopsis of that book is just to say that you should be able to fight prejudice. Okay, I read the book, I, you know, watched the movie, both of them were great. So, shout out to the author and may she rest in peace. Now, there's also a little bit of issue with Senor Kanye West. There's been a petition online to basically state... Here's some money, Kanye West, to help you with all your financial problems. And here is, you know, some psychological help or whatever. I don't know what's going on with Kanye West, but it seems like Kanye West has been going on his rants and it's been back and forth. Everybody talked that Taylor Swift schooled him and Taylor Swift um, rebuked him on, in a Grammy acceptance speech because Taylor Swift said, well, hey... Um, you know, people are going to come along that's going to try to belittle your famous, belittle your work, but just know that it's the people that love you and your hard work got you where you are. Don't let nobody, you know, you know, try to basically put you down. And if you guys check on my YouTube page, I uploaded the Kanye West rant, you know, at SL, where he basically say F Taylor Swift or whatever. It was just it was just a little weird. So whatever it is that's going on with Kanye West, I wish him the best. I wish him and Kim Kardashian all of them the very best. Um for all of my celebrities out there that watch my videos, you guys understand and you guys know that in order to handle this thing that's called fame you have to be a strong person. And the thing that Usher, Jamie Foxx, um, Kevin Hart, many celebrities have said it over and over and over again. There is no manual to handle celebrity stardom. There's no manual to handle it. There's not a book, just like how there's no... I mean, they're parenting books, but there's no book that tells you how to really be a parent because each and every child is different. You know what I'm saying? Just like that, there's no book that tells you how to handle fame. And fame comes in many different forms. And sometimes it could get to you. Um, Kanye West, I know that, you know, the issue of his mother passing, you know, him feeling like if he's not getting the respect... Because one thing that I could relate to Kanye West about is him being a creative, okay? Him wanting to do, you know, so much things. What happens with creative people? I'm going to tell you, you know, personally, and this is going to be like my little rant. What happens with creatives is that literally 24 hours a day, seven days a week, Okay, there's over 150 ideas or even more on the minute, on the second, on the hour. Just keeps going through your head. It just keeps on coming up. You know, things just keep on rolling. You have different ideas about your personal life, professional life, um, work life. It just keeps on rolling and it just never stops. So in order to channel that, you know, you have to have something inside of you. You have to have some kind of bigger force. And for some of these celebrities or, even, you know, I don't know people's personal life. I don't know if Kanye West sit down and prays or whatever. I don't know his personal life. If you don't have, like, you know, God and you're reading the Bible and something to harness that energy that's inside of you man it comes out in many different forms and i think this is what a lot of people might not may not and will never get about kanye west okay 
as long as Kanye West is a creative and he doesn't have anything that is able to contain all that flows through him and all that goes to his body and all that goes to his mind and if there's nothing, if there's not a power higher than him to control all of that, we will continue to get a Kanye West that's going to continue to rant and rant because nobody, A, will ever understand what it means to be a creative, okay, if you're not one, okay? Nobody would never understand how to control and harness that power that comes with being a creative, okay? Like I told you, I'm a creative, and on the hour, on the minute, on the second, there's over a gazillion and one ideas going to my brain, to my head, about everything, all aspects of my life. I have a thousand and one YouTube videos that I think I could make. I have a thousand and one remixes that I think I could make. I have a hundred and 10 different ways to fix my life, and it just keeps on going. Music, songs, videos, everything, and it's like, how do you harness that power? You know, for me, I be praying all the time, you know what I'm saying? But I know if I didn't have a higher power to harness that, that creative part of me, I would probably be a, ram a rambling maniac where people would never understand what the hell is it that I'm saying. Okay, so that's why, you know, Kanye West is, is the way he is, right? And that's just part of my theory. Now, some people just might say he's just a, he's just a crazy person. It is what it is, all right? So moving on, okay? Finally, I'm just going to talk to you guys about my usual comments, which is basically remember to take care of yourself, remember to treat the person around you good, okay? Because what's important is not the latest video, is do you understand what was your child's last grade in our assignment? Do you understand if your wife is happy, if your husband, boyfriend, lover, whomever is happy with you? Are you happy with yourself? Or are you taking care of yourself? holistically, emotionally, physically, mentally? Are you, do, are you doing all of the above for yourself? Okay, and I put up many videos about self-love and understanding that you need to love yourself and nobody else can, all right? The reason why I do this is because constantly I'm reading many different things online that there's people out there who do not love themselves, do not care for themselves. And I'm telling you guys out there is that if you don't love yourself, nothing can be achieved, okay? Because how can you say that you love someone and you don't love yourself, okay? Some people cannot live with themselves. That's a whole nother issue there too, 